Wahlberg also talking about his new movie, Instant Family. It's a funny and touching glimpse into the world of foster care adoption. NBC4's Tyler Carter live from the Mark Wahlberg's Chevrolet dealership in West Columbus, where fans today got some free movie tickets. Right, Tyler? Yeah, that's exactly right. We got a lot of surprises from him, actually. You know, he brought his food truck out here. 2,000 burgers, I was told, that was given out. Now fans are actually getting vouchers because they just ran out. But they also were able to get a movie ticket when they came out here to the car dealership today. The movie Instant Family is based off of a real-life story. The director of the film was able to get some guidance from the Dave Thomas Foundation for Adoption to shed light on the foster care system. A comedy. So we would have... Three children. Oh, two maybe, but there's no way we can do three. I mean, that was wow. we wanted to meet them. Oh my gosh. Oh my. God. Why would you show us that? Why would you even Are show that? Th doing? They're so cute. That's wrong. That has a heartwarming meaning. <laughs> what happened? Oh, it's potato okay. Chip. Calm down. I'm gonna fix you, okay? Here you go. See? Thanks, Daddy. Did you hear that? I just got my first daddy. Shows the importance of family. Instant Family, directed and written by Sean Anders, the filmmaker behind the hit comedies like Hot Tub Time Machine and Horrible Bosses 2, brings this story to theaters based on his real life, taking a look at the foster care adoption system. When you become a foster parent, that's when you're going to learn what love is all about. Rita Swarin, president and CEO of the Dave Thomas Foundation for Adoption, helped bring some impactful meaning to the film after Paramount Pictures and Anders reached out to them. The national nonprofit organization focuses on foster care adoption. It's really looking at particularly those older youth that may fall through the cracks and age out of the foster care system. In other words, leave the system at age 18 without an adoptive family that we focus here on at the foundation. In the film, Wahlberg and his wife become parents of three children, including a 15-year-old girl. A big life-altering moment like this, you got to get pumped. The 2017 report released from the United States Department of Health and Human Services Administration for Children and Families says that more than 442,000 children are in foster care, with that number increasing each year. We know that part of that reason is what we're hearing about every day across the nation is the opioid and heroin epidemic. And Franklin County Children's Services is celebrating National Adoption Day tomorrow where they will be finalizing 12 adoptions right here in Franklin County. If you want to know more about foster care adoption, just head to our website, NBC4i.com. Local for you in Columbus tonight, Tyler Carter, NBC4. All right, Tyler, thank you.